Hello, welcome to Beige and Lifestyles. I am Sabrina and today we are here with Nola. She's going to give us her experience of what it's like moving to Barbados under the 12 month welcome stamp visa. Yes, Nola. So tell us a little bit about yourself and you know, then we'll move into. Yeah, I'm a, a writer and I do some marketing consulting as well. And um, I was actually ready to make a move probably about a year ago. Uh -huh. And I have a friend I was talking to and we were, the subject of Barbados came up. Mm -hmm. And it was more of a revisit for me because I visited the country some years ago and it really made a, an impact on me. Mm -hmm. And then I said, oh, well, that's interesting because I was looking to, because I've come from the UK mm -hmm. and I was looking to potentially relocate Kate back to America which is where I'm originally from mm -hmm. and then when she mentioned Barbados welcome stamp I go oh wait a minute that's an interesting kind of choice yeah and once I thought it out and looked through it I realized it was a really good middle ground for me mm -hmm. I was ready to get out of the UK I wasn't quite for sure about returning to the States right now so it was a perfect middle ground it's close enough to the States I can just pop on a plane and get home it's far away from the UK which I hit my honeymoon stage with the UK was well <laughs> over <laughs> And um, and here I am, and the twelve month welcome stamp just made it a piece of cake. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, so good to know. Yeah, it was it, it would make things really really simple. So, how was the process like uh, applying for the twelve month welcome stamp? Well, um, it's really interesting. It's really straightforward. Mm -hmm. You literally fill out a few forms. You know, there is a, there's is a cost. There's mm -hmm. a cost to an individual, and then it's a bit more for an entire family. Mm -hmm. But considering I have a family of six, mm -hmm. it was very reasonable. Nice. You, you know, it, you, they'll, you'll get charged the same if you have a family of two or if you're a family of ten. Right. And then there's like some age, like there's, this, and you can literally go up to age 26. Like my children, my oldest son was 20, uh -huh. and he is still considered a um, dependent. Right. So it was, it was, it's very affordable and economical really nice. yeah. so it was you found the entire process very easy there was no complications for you yeah absolutely it was a really straightforward process you apply for your stamp uh -huh. and then once your stamp is approved um, it the year doesn't begin until you actually land yes so you can get that out of the way you know it's done you know you're going and you can take your time and, and whatever's gonna happen if you what but like for me I was coming from the UK because uh -huh. at one stage we had planned to come in July mm -hmm. and because of COVID the flights were sort of down so out of the blue we were told we had to come like it was just at an earlier date mm -hmm. to suit the airlines mm -hmm. but it was okay because like, like I said the time doesn't start elapsing mm -hmm. until you um, right until you actually arrive in Barbados Nice. Yeah, and then you have the opportunity to renew up to two years. That is good. You know, twice, which yes. actually takes you to three years. Okay. You get two renewals. Two after. renewals. I got you now. Exactly. So the, exactly. It's obviously, twelve month consent for it's for one year, but yeah. you can renew for two years. So technically, Absolutely. you can come and live in Barbados for three years. Absolutely. Yeah. And of course, you have to work remotely, mm -hmm. um, and which which I already did anyway. So mm -hmm. it was it was a great um, opportunity for me. Mm -hmm. And so once I had that. Um, tick box checked mm -hmm. I was thinking okay where am I gonna live right and again the same friend who mentioned the welcome stamp to me mm -hmm. I just got super lucky and she mentioned um, Sharita mm -hmm. at uh, Barbados real estate 246 mm -hmm. again smooth sailing once I called her she looked after me and that was like one less thing I had to worry about and I think it was so important to me because mm -hmm. I'm you know I'm a head of household yeah you know family of six yeah. two dogs yes clearly I needed someone to take the <laughs> care of that part for me yeah and she was efficient she knew the area mm -hmm. and she what I which is important to me what I needed really mm -hmm. um, it's not like I was asking for it in a demanding way mm -hmm. but she went beyond the call of duty Love just it. like I said efficient on timing I was never waiting around in an email mm -hmm. I knew exactly where I was living I knew a video of the area mm -hmm. um, so no I was I was really more than happy and would highly recommend her actually Love she's it. local because uh -huh. I'm a big believer in supporting local business and mm -hmm. local people and she's local to the area so she knows Barbados like the back of her hand yeah and I think that that matters it yeah, matters it makes it a big difference is. in terms of people's personal needs because I had very specific needs of what I wanted mm -hmm. and I think you get that from someone local mm -hmm. and again I'm, I'm a big fan of local business no matter what we have so and that's what I want to support here as yes. well while I'm here during my stay definitely so how are, how are you and the family adjusting the weather you know the difference in culture how's that going well you know I, I've got to tell you the country itself is and, and the people more so mm -hmm. has really exceeded my expectations mm -hmm. i mean i from my last experience here i did have expectations of what i remembered and it mm -hmm. succeeded that really welcome really friend, welcoming really friendly mm -hmm. and there is this what i what i i'm probably going to make up a new word it's this sort of slow paced efficiency <laughs> 
you know, I got warned about things aren't going to happen overnight. Island life. Yeah, oh. I, I definitely think it is a, um, for me, like I said, it was a great balance between the UK mm -hmm. and um, America. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I again, I think the world we live in right now, island pace is a really good thing, yeah. and I would definitely recommend it to people. I mean, and to be honest, though, you know, there's always challenges even in paradise. Mm -hmm. But to be, and, I, and I'm not just, I'm a fan of Barbados, you know this. Yes. But so, and I'm not just because I'm biased, because I am. <laughs> Most of my difficulty was what I would have to take this time to say to folks because I saw this information out there, mm -hmm. and I thought it was a bit cheesy and condescending. But now that I've lived through the experience, they, I was told on a website, do not leave countries before you tie up loose ends. <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like, why do they think people don't know how to do that? Uh-oh. I wish I would have listened. Yeah. I spent probably the first few, maybe a week or two, mm -hmm. communicating with the UK, which was expensive. I didn't get my sort of... A phone plan adjusted before I came mm. and yeah I should have been relaxing a lot more mm. the week or two so definitely I would highly recommend mm. tie up those loose ends mm -hmm. at the country you're leaving whether that's getting your your mail changed mm -hmm. in time don't leave that get your phone sorted mm -hmm. and just tie up whatever loose ends you can mm -hmm. while you're there so when you're here you're a hundred percent here yeah and it took me a couple weeks that's so a that's big your lesson. that's your only con make sure you tie your loose ends tie up your loose ends and I have to say Putting things in place, Barbados, particularly with the welcome stamp, was really efficient, really easy. It was sort of, again, what I had to deal with in the other country. Mm -hmm. And dogs. I shipped two dogs. Yeah. If you love your animals, make sure you tuck away a little bit. Because, again, <laughs> it's an efficient process to move animals, uh -huh. particularly in Barbados. And they, they're, you're very clear at the shots and what they need to be here. They don't have to quarantine if mm -hmm. you're coming from the right country, that is. But it is costly. To be honest, shipping my animals mm -hmm. was more expensive than shipping six people. Wow. And I wish someone would have warned me. Uh -huh. Of course, you can't leave your animals. Yeah. So I took the hit. <laughs> but I would have liked a bit of warning before. Yeah. So that's that's the only thing. And yeah. to be honest, that's any country. That's not Barbados. Yeah. Any country is going to cost yeah. you a fortune to, to ship, ship your animals. animals. Yeah. And to be honest, I found the cost on this end quite a, a lot more reasonable than I expected and mm -hmm. they were very flexible. Well, you kind of answered it already. I was going to ask you what would you have done differently? So I guess right. you answered it where you said about with, you know, packing up and the dogs and stuff. That was the only thing that you would have done yeah. differently. Yeah, and, and, I'm, and now I'm just really thinking, thinking it through with you. In terms of the decision, the move, I can't think of anything I, I could have done differently mm -hmm. besides take care of things back in the UK yeah. a lot tidier. Yeah. You know, um, and not I'm not talking about bills and things like that, but literally like I got Just here and it. hadn't changed my um, Maybe. my a change of address right things like that I didn't tell the, my mobile provider yeah. that I was leaving the country so I had to wait and do that in a very expensive way uh. and I the only thing I could have done quicker here was to get my Bayesian sim <laughs> now that I got my Bayesian sim yeah you're all good it's free it's all good. again another efficient process mm -hmm. I went to the to place she put it in there for me and I literally said to her and you know I couldn't be making this up it was just having the right she said to me she said no we'll do this while you're here I said you know what thank you because I'm <laughs> crying by now on my own so it was just this just this um you just looked you know what I said I put on Facebook and I said it, it's almost like being here you're getting looked after by family mm-hmm and that's the beauty of oh, it, I think. Nice. You know, family, it's not perfect. Yeah. You know, but they look after you. Yes. No matter what, they're going to look after you. Yeah. So that's what it feels like being in Barbados. Mm -hmm. You're getting looked after um, by family. Mm -hmm. And that's like a thread through everything. Barbados was like home. Absolutely. Yes. Love Absolutely. It. Last question for you. How was your quarantine process? Again, yeah. you know, that no nonsense um, efficiency. Because um, no, most people complain the concept of having to be stuck in a house or in a hotel and they can't leave and they have to accept whatever food and like how was that process well, for you so getting, people can understand getting back to Sharita uh -huh. I had again a family of six mm -hmm. uh, my mother being elderly mm -hmm. I didn't and two dogs I didn't want to have to put them in quarantine someplace and then move into this house yes so I you know I I um, I, I called uh -huh. Barbados travel you know the uh -huh. government yeah. site uh -huh. and they quickly said no if you, you you've got time to get your place that you're moving to your home yeah that, that I have a lease for yeah to get it quarantined 
Nice. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay, because that's what I was hoping. If I yeah. could just quarantine in our own home. place. Yeah. And there, is, yeah, and there is a procedure to do that. Mm -hmm. As soon as I told Sharia there was a procedure, that's all I had to do. And okay. she found, she got the information. Mm -hmm. Her and the owner of the house worked together. And before mm -hmm. I knew it, our villa was quarantine approved. We and at the airport they give you all the information mm -hmm. you need and tell you instruct you what to do. And then they send you into a it's like a quarantine approved taxi. Mm -hmm. They get you here and it's this really good system. You you have to wear these bands that you keep on in the shower and everything. Yeah. But and then you download an app mm -hmm. and twice a day you take your temperature. But you know it's it's all again it's just this efficiency mm -hmm. and it's procedures and they're easy to follow. Mm -hmm. So it was quite and you were here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Someone you, know, you were. Really helpful yeah. thank you um, in terms of getting food and making sure we had food mm -hmm. and things in the house um, and our house was fully equipped mm -hmm. and again we, were, we had the little CCT kit but all this was arranged mm -hmm. by the owner of the house and, and, Sh and Sharita just getting on it nice. um, what about the temperature who where was that was provided by government as well no what, the, no the what you download goes. an app uh -huh. and then you you prove it every morning and it warns you it says temperature time between this time and this time uh -huh. please take your temperatures and you take it and you just give it you give your temperature oh and if you think you can just do that and try to be sneaky yeah one day out of the blue bing bing we had to be fair this wonderful woman from the minister health ministry yeah. joan shout out joan if you're watching this <laughs> yes i'm bowing to joan i'm bowing to joan um she came to do a spot check mm -hmm. they make sure everyone's in the house it mm -hmm. should be here so if you're trying to do a dodgy and she took everyone's temperature mm -hmm. just to make sure what you're reporting is accurate yeah but also we had a situation with someone in the house needed some health care because i just remembered oh i know what it was when she came my mom she was just she's like oh no no don't get your mother coming down this drive oh, we'll go to her yeah so she was just again it was yes. that care of yes. family right she didn't she never met us yeah so when she she and she, she sort of evaluated the situation you got mom you got me with like four kids i'm mm -hmm. on my own two dogs so she immediately also gave us a number of a driver mm -hmm. that when our quarantine period was over we could arrange for him to pick us up mm -hmm. to get our tests done um and then so I just remember her efficiency and care. So at one point we actually needed some um, medical assistance mm -hmm. inside the house with one of the kids. Mm -hmm. So I instantly called her. Before I knew it, there was a medical person at our house to make sure everything was okay. Nice. And um, sort us out a private doctor. And because we're on the welcome stamp, you do get certain, you get local discounts in nice. certain areas. That's good. So what would have cost, um, we got the local rate on the doctor that came yes. to the house. And she just really sorted us out. Mm -hmm. And this, again, this is someone who didn't know us, mm -hmm. but I called, and this wasn't part of her role her, necessarily. Yeah, yeah. She, I just knew to call Joan, yeah. and I did. And, and she, she helped and, and we had a doctor at the house. Yeah. So okay. yeah, there, I, you'll, I'm not complaining on yeah. any level. Lovely. Okay, Nola, thank you so much for taking the time to you know, answer these few questions. Of course. And of let course. everyone know, you know, the options and how it has been for her Absolutely. to move to Barbados. Okay, guys, if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>